Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We talk a lot about self-care, self and there is nothing more important than your mental health. Mm -hmm. Today mm -hmm. is World Mental Health Day, and here to help us to celebrate the importance of this day is our sister and certified counselor, Spirit. Welcome. Hey. Hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So Spirit, tell us about World Mental Health Day and, and, uh -huh. and why it's so important. Well, look, I got on my, my World Mental Health Green today, yes. right? This is us for clinicians. And I always say this is like Christmas for mm -hmm. clinicians mm -hmm. because this is the one time all over the world we are talking about mental health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And it is something that we don't talk about enough. Mm -hmm. Well, why is the focus on young people more so this year? Okay, <laughs> so right now when we talk about young people, we're talking about ages 15 to 24. It is critical because children are often left out of the mental health conversation. Mm -hmm. And what we know is that 50% of all mental illnesses develop before someone is 14 years old. And so we also know that unfortunately, we don't get care until eight to 10 years after diagnosis. Mm. So what we're seeing is adults who have had mental illness since Ooh. they were children. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. What are some of the issues that young people face? Well, one of the major issues is depression, mm. okay? Suicide. Uh, attention deficit disorder, uh, anxiety disorders. We are seeing a host of illnesses. And the thing that most people don't realize is that a lot of these illnesses, you can completely recover from with the proper treatment. Okay, so now I don't feel so bad that mm -hmm. I stalk my 21 year old that's Good in college you. right now. Good for you. Because I'm so cognizant of that. And mm -hmm. you should be. Suicide yes. rates are through the roof for college students. And unfortunately, the amount of care that they have access to is oftentimes it's just not enough. Enough. So good for you, Mom. You think that's from, from <laughs> pressure from home and school and, and trying to make the grade and, and all of that? Think it's, it, it's all of the life transitions. I'm moving away from home for the first time. I'm stepping out into the adult world. I'm broke. I, hello, hello. I'm trying to be an adult with limited resources, yeah, right? Yeah. That transition can be hard. Now, Spirit, what I notice is that. Anytime somebody needs to get help for mental illness, they, it, it's almost like it's a faux pas, like, oh, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. right, right. Why is it so hard to get people to really take care of their health? Mm -hmm. If their knee hurts, they'll go to the doctor, Come but on. if their, their heart hurts, Come on. they stay down to the house. That, that is it. And so I tell people all the time, if I told you that you needed a pill for your heart, you yes. take it. If I told you that you needed a pill in order to breathe well, you take it. But the minute that I say that you need a pill to help regulate your mental functioning, your wellness, we think all the stuff that there is something wrong with that. And we often think that it's a faith issue and not a medical issue. Yes. That's where we make the mistake. Yes. So I have to tell people all the time, you can have faith and therapy. Mm. You can have Jesus in a therapist. Come on, because yes, he, sure he created, he created he these created tools for us. That's what we're here for. Yes. Like a mechanic, like a pastor, like a doctor, like a teacher. Yeah. That is what a therapist Absolutely. is here for. And, and why do you think that people don't want to own, you know, well, I think that it's important that we do own the fact that you can see a therapist and it can make you feel better. What would be some of the first steps that a person who has never even considered this as an option, mm -hmm. what would be some of the first steps that they can take to, to finding a therapist, an adequate one for there them? There we go. I would say do your research. Do mm -hmm. not just mm -hmm. pick up the phone and just right. the first person you call is your therapist. Investigate it. That's right, interview us. We all do consultations, mm -hmm. 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Think about what you might want to sit with a therapist yeah. for. Yeah. Is it life issues? Is it relationship issues? Is it work issues? Mm -hmm. Is it, I don't know what my issue is. Right. I just need to sit with somebody in detail. Mm -hmm. We have specialties for all of that, and we're here ready to help you. It's about keeping you well. Yep. Come and see us every year like you go and see your medical Bring doctor your every year. I sit right That's outside. Right. That's, That's it. it. Definitely. That's it. Definitely. <laughs> what, what would you say is the goal for World Mental Health Day, especially as it relates to people of color, mm -hmm. especially our young people of color? It's about prevention, resilience, and recovery. Mm -hmm. Understanding how to protect your health and wellness, mm -hmm. understanding that you can recover from any illness mm -hmm. that you are dealing with, mm -hmm. and you can absolutely bounce back. There is hope, you can be well, and you can live a full life no matter what your diagnosis is. Like Selena was saying, yeah. get rid of the taboo. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Definitely. And, and what are some on. of the warning signs, though? How do you know that you may need you know, therapy. Okay, especially when we're dealing with our young folks, but this works across the board, okay? okay. One of the things that we want to be talking about is changes in behavior. Mm -hmm. Whether that is all of a sudden, I used to be a really outgoing person, but now I'm really depressed, mm -hmm. or I used to be really withdrawn and shy, but now I'm just out there, the life of the party. Mm -hmm. We also want to talk about what we call somatic complaints, especially with children. They don't always have the language, but they can say, I have a headache, I have a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about withdrawing from family and friends, activities that you 
used to love getting involved in. Those things are warning signs. Also for kids, changes in grades. You talk about that college student, mm -hmm. right? And then with children also, and even sometimes with us as adults, nightmares, changes in our sleep patterns. We can't sleep because we're anxious. We can't sleep because we're overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Everything is mental health and wellness from the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep and everything in between. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you one more question. Do you think that sometimes mental health uh can kind of correlate with like substance abuse? Absolutely, mm. because substance abuse issues are often self-medication, mm -hmm. okay? If I'm anxious, I may not want to go to the doctor, right. but I think that smoking a little weed may calm me down, oh, yeah. okay? Right? If I'm it. all nerves, I may not necessarily realize that I have an anxiety disorder, but I recognize that having a drink helps me relax and Absolutely. loosen up. That's a crutch. That's exactly yes, where it but starts. you know, oftentimes it's not a crutch, it's us actually knowing that something is wrong, and so we self-medicate. Yes. We figure out what we need in order to be able to cope. Mm -hmm. So often if you find that something, a substance, is making you feel a different way, there may be an underlying cause that you may wow, want to get checked that's out. amazing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit, so much for My being pleasure. with us My today. Pleasure. And for yeah. more information on something. World Mental Health Day, you can go to at WMD Day or visit Spirit's IG page at mm -hmm. Talk to Spirit. And